The weight of the security situation in the country is enough to bring together key ministers in charge of security for this briefing. Heads of other security agencies are also in attendance. The Minister of Information, who is moderating the session alongside other ministers, gives an update on the efforts of the government to address the situation in the country. We can say, I want to repeat, that the worst is over and peace and security are gradually returning to the land. Please don't misunderstand or misresent this assertion. We may see witness isolated cases of security challenges here and there, but it will not be on the scale that we've witnessed in the past. This present administration is doing everything possible to ensure the safety and security of all citizens. I therefore urge all Nigerians to support the armed forces of Nigeria in its efforts towards ensuring the security to the nation. Officers of the Federal Fire Service will now be accompanied by armed men who will not hesitate to shoot hoodlums and miscreants who attack them during rescue operations. The government is taking this action following reports of attacks on officers during operations. Touts and hoodlums that attack firemen and damage their trucks and equipment at fire scenes. We are therefore putting together armed escorts to accompany firefighting trucks to fire scenes to determine element, to, to, determine, to deter such elements. And I'm warning them, I've been warning them. Please, if you have no business at fire scenes, don't get there. If you can't help us, don't obstruct us. If you attack us in our discharge of our responsibility as firemen, we will attack you very, very violently. We will shoot you. According to the Minister of Police Affairs, about 30,000 constables have been recruited in the last three years. Meanwhile, efforts are underway to ensure the safe return of the remaining victims of the Abuja Kaduna train attack. In 2019, when Mr. President made his uh, second coming, he gave the police the directive to recruit 10,000 police officers annually. In this we have been doing and uh, since that time, from that time to date, we have recruited over 30,000 police constables. What I can assure you is that the federal government is busy and is committed to ensuring that nobody will remain in captivity of anybody, whether they be, you know, bandits, whether they be ritualists, whether they be kidnappers. At this national security briefing, the ministers of Interior, Defense and Police Affairs ruled out the achievements of the agencies under their ministries. But for many Nigerians who have not felt the impact of security agencies, there's much left to be desired. Give me a more Channels.